I'm Jensen. I'm 32 this year and I've been working for about uh, six, seven years after uni. So yeah, I would consider myself a young working adult. Yeah, it was not a pushy process at all. In fact, I felt like I was the pushy one because I was always, I was always asking questions non-stop. When I talked to the financial advisor, it was more like uh, year to year or even decade and decade uh, kind of outlook or planning. Yeah, so that really broadened my mindset and broadened my horizon. Yeah, so after going through the comprehensive financial planning, I would say I'll feel a little bit wiser in terms of like how I plan my finances. So I bought the disability plan, uh, or rather cashew plan. In terms of investment, I've already put in some amount in the dimensional funds, and actually it's doing better than like my other investments. So I'm like, why have so much stress like investing or like researching stocks to stocks when I can just trust money hour, money hour with it? A couple of things that I learned from this financial planning service. First is not to ignore CPF. That CPF uh, can actually grow to become like a good foundation or a significant uh, amount in your retirement. Before going through the financial planning service, uh, I kind of viewed retirement as like something that uh, is still really far away and that I don't really have to worry at this age. But after going through this, um, I realized that the steps that I take today matter and that it's not a very, very big step to be worried about. Like honestly, I, I think looking at the plan just now, um, they just said like, I just need to set aside maybe five to 10K a year, which I think is quite reasonable. Seeing it in small steps, I think really makes you say, um, why not, why can't I just start doing it now? Or like what's stopping me?